Hi guys, I thought I'd get a vlog done before Mum uh, phones me. She said she'd phone me tonight. Probably just to double check arrangements for tomorrow because I am going over to Mum's to clean the car out for her and get that all listed up on Gumtree. But it seems like between her and stepdad they really want this Citroen Zara. Uh, so of course I've got to raise the money for said Citroen. And most of that's going to come from the sale of the car. Uh, anywho, one thing that has actually um, stuck in my head most of the day is racism. So I'm going to get this out of the way first. So if you want to know what I bought today, as it was my payday, then just fast forward through the video. Anyway. I've noticed in the last couple of days there's been two stories in the news where police have shot and killed two black men. Um, so now the white cops are being labelled as racist as this does seem to be quite a common thing in America, which is quite scary to me. Uh, so these white cops are being labelled as racist. Uh, one of them was even filmed live. The girlfriend of one of the black lads that got shot, with their child in the back, was actually filming it on her phone and putting it live to Facebook. So there's no way that the cop can actually lie about his actions. It's there on tape, straight to Facebook. Um, but apparently with him, the story was, the cop had asked this guy, you know, the guy had already had told him, you know, he was carrying, because apparently the state he was in is an open carry state, um, and the copper had asked for his permit, or his license for the carry, and as the black lad reached into his pocket to get the license, he got shot. So he got shot for basically complying with the officer. Um, which to me is totally wrong. You, I don't know what it is with American cops lately, but they just seem there seems to be too many American cops that seem to be trigger happy. Shoot first, deal with the consequences and ask questions later. Anyway, that made me think and I did ask the question on my Facebook. No one actually replied to it, which is no surprise. In a world where the human race is meant to be the most intelligent, sometimes I do question that with some people's behaviour, but <laughs> we are. Technically, we are the most intelligent um, life form on the planet. So why do we have so much racism? I mean, racism has been on the up since England, or since Britain, voted to leave the European Union. There's been, actually, in the news today, I saw where a Polish family had their house torched just because they're Polish. Now, I don't care what anyone says. That is a racist attack. But why are people like that? Why is it that so many people don't like foreigners moving to their country? Shouldn't we be actually, you know, happy that someone wants to live in our country? That they like our country enough to want to move here and live? just saying you know as I've said before I don't, I'm not really fussed about foreigners living here and working here if they're legal and I've got all the paperwork blah 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 and they're earning a living blah 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 who cares they're legal they're legit it's the illegals that bug me that actually managed to get here I don't mind if I actually get here then get given asylum 
as the ones that actually manage to sneak in under the radar, so to speak, and get a job and whatnot, and not contributing to taxes and things, because, you know, they're under the radar, so they're getting paid cash in hand, because no one can know they're here, sort of thing. They're the ones that I think we should be um, getting pissy at. But the ones that move over here legitimately, get a job, set up a business or whatever, pay their business tax, pay their taxes, council tax, etc. You know, pay their way in society. Who the fuck cares? Why is it such a fucking problem? Why is racism such an issue? At the end of the day, regardless of what country you're born in, you're a human being. Doesn't matter what colour your skin is either. Black, pink, fucking rainbow coloured. You're a human being. And we should treat each other as a human being. By all means. If someone's being a complete and total dick to you, then see that individual as a total and utter dick. Not the whole population of where they come from. Because that one person, you know, doesn't represent the whole race. They are just one person being a dick. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Rant over. <laughs> it really... Well, no, rant's not quite over. Well, I'm not just going to say, you know... I still... I don't think I'll ever understand... why we have so much racism... You know, as an intelligent life form, we should know better and treat people better than that. But, uh, anyway. I'd say... I've been talking to... Fast service enthusiast friend of mine, he's just been asking some random questions about our fast station and a couple of the local ones from um, other towns. I saw. I think I need to go poop, but not yet. Ah. <laughs> Timeline, because I've got some. I want to do this. Thank you. The image. I want to show you that image because that'll actually spoil what I've got behind me. But I will give a spoiler alert, it is Lego related. But it was a damn good buy. Right, well. We've done, you know, the rounds with the charity shops, junk shop, etc. Got myself another Dance 93 CD. Uh, 40 dance hits of the year, so I presume 1993. Uh, da -da -da -da. I've got a couple of Lego magazines down here, full of stickers for 99p each. St. Bernardo's Charity Shop, as I got that other CD from. Although the CD was £2.49, a bit steep for a used CD, but... Oh, I don't know. Uh, what have I got on here? I tried changing the DVD ROM drive in my PC, but I'm still getting the same issue, so it's not that... Right, on here, I've got, from my favourite local uh, junk shop, one of these, which is an FM radio that you can also use as a hands-free kit, plugging it into your cell phone. It's probably not very useful these days, but there you go. Um, and I've also got a box of bits show you that in a minute. I also got 
an ambiance car thing. Pack of four drill bits. They do look sharp. I'll take those out there and they can uh, go in my tin of drill bits. Um, another PlayStation 1 game, just to go with the collection really. I don't I'll ever play it because it's a sports game. I might, if I'm bored enough. And in a box full of farm animals and a few other bits was this Lego. So you can pretty much see why I bought the box of farm animals. <laughs> I really only bought the box of farm animals because the Lego I actually wanted. I don't really give a rat's ass about the rest of it. Uh, there's two vintage motorcycle helmets in here. There's a red one somewhere and a white one which was just down here but it's disappeared. There it is. The 1970s base plate, the three figures, helmets, and the horse. That's all I really wanted. Uh, but I got that, the game, the car, and you know, that box of bits, all for four pounds out of my favourite junk shop. All sorts is an excellent little shop. Even that vintage bit is here as well as some vintage Technic. Um, then I went to the Katali shop. One of my favourite charity shops, actually. And I got a bunch of these. Now, got a Hertz van, Chevy van. A couple of uh, lorries, majorette lorries, no bodies on them. Well, I thought that was a fire engine, but going by the um, workman symbols on the side, I think that's meant to be a cherry picker. But Corgi did a fire engine in the exact same style, um, design and style, so... A couple more bits of Lego. Oh, that's four minifigures. I didn't realise that. I thought there was only three. Ah, and there's the other helmet. Right, so all that together. Then, oh, well, that's that old fire engine as well. But I've got all these micro-machines. Look at these. Aren't they frickin' awesome? Actually, these two here aren't micro-machines, they're Hot Wheels, and that one lights up when I put a new battery in it. In fact, so I'll put it, put it there. Because so I'll put a little um, button cell in there and get it working. Well, look, all of these, look, a couple of tanks. I'm not sure if that's micro-machines, it looks like it. It looks like it might have been used on a model or something. Diorama. We've got all sorts of jeeps. I've got a Mustang Boss 302 as well. This one, look at that. Mustang Boss 302. <laughs> Lots of these sort of uh, 50 style convertibles in here. 50, 60 styles. I paid 20 pence each. Seems like a lot of money, but I did look on eBay when I got home. And they're going for a hell of a lot more than that. If I'd got what the same as what people are asking on eBay, if I just put like uh, six together like that, there's about six pounds something. Yeah, about six pounds worth of cars there alone. I ain't kidding. I couldn't find anything much cheaper. Because I thought maybe I could... Um, collect these little things myself as they are mainly just uh, plastic a little plastic mould I think the chassis is a bell no that one's got a plastic chassis as well so I'm not sure if some of these are actually all micro machines branded that's got so I can't quite read it I need the magnifying glass it's hard to believe that most of these are actually screwed together as well not riveted I remember most of these. <laughs> I remember seeing them in the shops. And if I remember correctly, they used to sell them in packs of like six. I think you get different styles of cars. You know, you might get one full of convertibles. And then the emergency vehicle ones. A little fire chief car here. A little fire truck. 
rescue on the roof. And I've got a police car. And actually, somewhere, when I can remember where it is, I did have an ambulance that I'd had kicking around for ages. I actually don't know if I've still got it. Oh got it. I actually know where it might be. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I can't actually remember if I've still got it or not. Hey. Oy, 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 oy. Right. Well I think or at least from the reactions I've got from the internet, aka Facebook, uh I found quite a decent bargain here. I went into Black Records, the um, shop that sells all the collectible bits and bobs and whatnot and other odds and sods. And he had this sitting on the shelf. It came in today. He'd only put it out on the shelf today. And I'd literally gone in and was like, yank, mine. <laughs> but the asking price for this was £20. I don't know if that's going to come up on camera. I paid £20 for this. It does seem to be complete. It's got all those books there. It's not, the box is in good condition for its age. It is quite old. Look at the, look at the detail. According to um, Pieron.com, this was 1980. But someone on one of my, on my um, post on one of the Lego groups said it was made between 1980 and 1989, so it could actually be from anywhere between there. Yeah, it's got an instruction book, make two models, apparently. And then there's drive shafts and engine and gearbox and all sorts on here. This one, this one, ah, that's the bit that actually confused me. On the artwork, it's got these separate springs that go over one of the black connecting axles. But when I looked in here, I've actually got four suspension or four shock absorbers here. And I did see that someone said that the later sets were changed from having the springs that go over the axles to these. So this is probably a later set. Yeah, you can see it a bit clearer on here. Look. I am going to go back to that post later and just double check that. But yeah, that might explain it. So yeah, this this is complete then. And someone's gone through the lovely effort of putting everything in Ziploc bags. Or most of it anyway, and there's some brick there and whatnot. Which I actually thought was quite nice that someone actually went to that effort. I don't know if that's how they've stored it, or if they did it just to make sure, you know, all the parts were there. Because there's 600 and some odd parts in this. It's One of the biggest Technic sets I've got. I've actually got four. I've got the digger, but I can't remember how many pieces that digger has. <laughs> I don't actually know where I'm going to put that. I know where I'd like to put it. But I would like to build it as well. <coughs> would be nice to build it.
a few miles different. So. Oh, no notifications. I think it was on the A files of Facebook. Yeah. There were two versions of this under the same set number. But basically 1980 to 1989 retail, I think. The box art did change at some point to indicate that the rear suspension wasn't done with loose springs as per this version, but rather with the first generation spring units. Ah, that's where it confused me then when I looked at the box. Uh, I'd guess 1995 for that revision without looking at my UK catalogues from that era. Ah. So the box art was actually wrong. <laughs> so it looks like they've always had those um, shocks. That's alright then. So long as I know so I don't bloody go uh, trying to fit the wrong thing. Ooh, look at this. On this little Lego sheet that came with it, it's actually got those shocks in place. Sweet. I think this is just a catalogue of uh, the things you can, uh, you know, could buy at the time. Yes, this, is, this was called the car chassis. Pieron.com actually calls it the auto chassis, but yeah, it's just known as the um, car chassis. I think just because it's got, couldn't do that again, could I? <laughs> the corner has actually got stuck in that drawer. That was a good shot. This, it's a good learning set, you know. As I said earlier, it's got the engine that actually functions. Well, by function, I mean it moves. It's got these bricks that simulate the pistons going up and down. Um, in later years, LEGO did release those little grey engine blocks with a round piston that would go up and down in them. The teachers are cleared about suspension, you know, differential, UV joints. The seats actually adjust back and forth. The back panel adjusts. It's got the steering and, you know, rack and pinion steering. <coughs> This is one of the reasons I actually like Lego. Because it is a good it's not just something you can play with. You can actually build something on an adult scale. You know, like this, complete with a free cat. <laughs> you can um even use it well, in this case, as an educational tool. So it is, I can see what they call it a car chassis, because it is literally just the chassis. But I suppose if you were really creative, you could build a shell over the top. I've got plenty of technique, so I could do that. That looks like an alternate build, a drag car. And I took the tyres off the wheels. I don't know why they took the tyres off. Maybe it's because the wheels are all the same size. Are they the same size? Yeah, they are the same size. It's a sweet set, though, and I think I really did get a good deal. I looked on eBay, and there was a couple um, start bids for the same price as this. And there was one with a bid of £25 on it. I believe I saw one with a bid of £40 on it. So, I don't think it's a good bargain. And considering its age, it's in pretty good condition. Right. I'll sit down, I'm going to get a drink in a minute and a packet of crisps to munch on. Shut the other PC down because I was listening to CDs. I can't do it on this one because the drawer is still playing up. Uh, pardon me, but it's not the tray, it's not the um, hardware. I've already um, ruled out hardware, but it's definitely a software issue there. A driver issue, most likely. Again driver may have got corrupt. Um, yeah. 
was just thinking, I was going to say. Oh yeah. Mel will pick me up after she's done at work, which is about 2 o'clock. I don't know if she needs to stop in town. I hope not. <laughs> um, so we might just go straight, well not straight back to hers, but on the way we'll stop off at the recycling centre. I, at the very least, need a pair of 24-inch wheels um, for that Schwinn bike I've got at Mum's, which I'll bring home tomorrow night, if I can find the wheels. If not, I'm just going to leave it in the frame, in my frame pile over at Mum's. Uh, but I would like... At least one adult bike. It would be nice just for at least one. But uh, not a lot has uh, been taken down there lately. Unless people have been picking them up before me, I don't know. But the same bikes have been sitting there for about the last two weeks. I'm surprised they haven't gone in the scrap bin yet. Then again, I suppose that scrap's worth next to nothing now. It's not worth it, is it? Thank you. What's Chroma and Sheringham? Sheringham is about the same distance. Um, Chroma is about the same distance uh, from my town as Alsham is. I'm going to reply to him in a minute. Um. Right, that's it. <laughs> Can't think of anything else. Oh, yes I can. I've got the tail light mounted on this one. And I've removed the rear V... Rear, there, I'll try again. The rear V-brake. In fact, I've got the... Um, brakes down there. Got the mudguard tail light on, wired up and working. Uh, so what I've got to do is fit a new gear cable and take off that stupid brake lever that I'm no longer need and she'll be good. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I really do want to keep it just as a funny bike to ride around on. It'd be quite comical watching uh, a chubby guy like me riding this thing, wouldn't it? <laughs> anyway, yeah, that was about the only other thing I've been doing. I haven't done anything else. My Canon camera doesn't seem to want to charge. What's the LED light doing on it? Oh, nothing, because I unplugged it. It wasn't charging right. It should flash slowly when it's charging. I get the charger plugged in, unhanded. Yeah, that's how it should flash when charging. Then it does that. So I don't know if there's an issue with the battery. Or if it's just because I ran the battery down, I don't know. I'll leave that in for a little while and see what it does. I mean, I can still use it as is with the cable. It's just going to be a bit annoying. Hold on, when I can get a new fucking camera. Cause this is doing my head in. Anyway. That is it now. I <laughs> nearly forgot about the bike. Anyway, I'm just going to, uh, oh, my, <laughs> my taskbar has gone off the screen for some reason, look at that, why has it done that? Shut down, switch monitor off, yeah, right, well, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, I'll talk to you again when um, I get back from Mum's tomorrow night. So, 
ਸਹੀ ਆ